Hello and welcome! You're watching Future Check number 6 with me, George, and today we're going to be talking about something very weird. We're talking about jetpacks, which you probably noticed if you looked at the title. If you didn't, you know now. So, you're probably asking, George, why jetpacks of all things? We all know they're going to happen eventually. And, let's be honest, they probably are. But that isn't the point. The point here is... Do we really want jetpacks upon all other things? And let's look through the past whilst looking at the future. I mean, we might as well. Right, so let's get into the basic history. The idea first came about in the 1920s. This was a very comic book idea, science fiction, you know, including things like the sonic screwdriver, which probably won't ever be made. That's a story for a different one. Sonic screwdriver, as I said. So, 1960s is when this became really popular. That's because of technological advances, and it became slightly possible. It was ridiculous. People were like, oh my god, we're actually going to do this. We're going to be able to fly to work every morning, and it's going to work. Except it didn't. And we sort of semi-have jetpacks, but not really. Let's be honest though, the Earth wasn't going to say, go fly away, enjoy yourselves, because there's a thing we like to call gravity. Which is the reason I'm sat here talking to you now, apart from that camera, that microphone, and the fact that that webcam doesn't like recording at 720p and 30 frames a second at the same time. Anyway, so gravity means that you sort of have to overcome it to fly. That's why planes have giant jet engines. And that's why it's called a jetpack, because it has a jet engine, or four, as to some ideas, which were, let's be honest, quite weird. So, there's another problem. I mean, you have four jet engines strapped to your back. Those are extremely hot, meaning that you're potentially going to burn your legs off. But who needs legs? You need fuel, and fuel is expensive because it's effectively the same fuel that airplanes use, meaning it's also highly flammable and dangerous and probably going to end up blowing yourself up. So not only do you have no legs, you have no body. And then it's heavy because it has mass, it has weight, meaning that you have to lift even more. And that means you have can't use too many because there becomes a point. Too many? Too much fuel. Because there comes a point where the weight is just weighing it down too much for the lift to provide, meaning the engines have to be small, reducing the fly time, blah dee blah dee blah -da. So basically, it's highly expensive and highly dangerous because you've got fire coming out right next to your legs. And it's very expensive because you have to buy loads of fuel, and when you test it, and even if you don't lift off, you've, well, burnt the fuel. And you can't use that much fuel, meaning your flight time is severely reduced and I believe, off the top of my head, the stat will be somewhere. The longest flight ever achieved only lasted 30 seconds. And that's barely enough to get me from my house to my school if it was about 10 times faster than walking. So, all those numbers will be here. But, you know, it's really not very efficient. The thing is, technically, we have jetpacks, I hate to break it to you. Yeah, they've sort of been around for quite some time now. How do I put this nicely? Um, you haven't been informed, unfortunately. You weren't picked. Mostly because you didn't get up into space. Because up in space there's no, well there is a gravitational pull, but there's zero gravity, meaning it doesn't take that much effort. And astronauts actually use jetpacks as such. They sort of get out little bits of air, not that much, so that you don't sort of go huddling to your doom, but enough to sort of remotely move you. So technically astronauts do have jetpacks, I guess, if you sort of really want to hope. The other way in which we technically may have jetpacks is um, hydropacks. Hydropacks are effectively jetpacks which use water as opposed to air and work for quite some time but the problem is you can't really sort of store the water 
well you can but it won't work very well so you sort of have to be tied to this tank thingy that feeds in water and that means it's not very practical for long distance travels it's only really practical for vertical tra traveling because anything other than that doesn't go very well so basically let's be completely honest even if you really 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 wanted a jetpack technology just isn't there yet and yes it would be fun and interesting and different but why would you really need it let's be completely honest because you'd sort of travel for about 30 seconds and then you'd um crash and fall to your death and doom and destruction so basically you don't want a jetpack trust me so that's about it to be honest there isn't much more to say thank you for watching this has been future check number six about jetpacks um i will see you guys next monday with a future check about the sonic screwdriver featured earlier in this video sort of not really i hope i didn't hurt your eyes if i did then get better eyes if you're blind i apologize if i somehow offended you um, thank you for watching and see you guys next week remember to head over to snappy tech because my mouth sounds weird and also there's potentially going to be a written up version probably not i don't promise anything but there are also posts three times a week by me monday wednesday friday so i will see you next time check out snappy tech you know what to do subscribe if you enjoyed the video comment if you like my voice don't actually do any of those because of my voice because my voice is weird and it does a lot of strange things but make sure to comment your own views or i will kill you goodbye